Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Zotti, Special Events Coordinator for the Wine Library, and this is Episode 9 of Wine Library's Food and Wine with me, Sandra. So today we're going to give you a little glimpse of what we do here most Saturdays for a few hours. A glimpse of our infamous Saturday sampling table. The place where it all began for me when I started working here several years ago, and the place where I got to meet and continue to meet the most incredible people, the best people, the greatest customers, speaking of which, our Saturday gang, most of our Saturday gang is here. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Are we ready to do this? Yes! Okay, so as you know, each Saturday we sample three different wines. So we chose for you three amazing wines, incredible values, food-friendly, versatile wines. And as you know, I usually do some kind of food, and in my episodes, I always kind of talk about some kind of food. But for time purposes, I'm not going to really focus on that. But I had to include something. My current obsession in our gourmet department, cinnamon bun pretzels. Two women. Chris, are you not liking this already? I see you shaking the head. <laughs> cinnamon bun pretzels. Two women started their company in Pennsylvania. I'm talking sugar, a little cinnamon, a little salt. Insane. I think I've told everyone about it. We sold out. We just got them back in stock for the episode. Wait to taste these. And because I love music and I need to dance, we have with us today, rocking out with us, jamming out with us, the one, the only, Eric Drylowitz. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, give us a little something. Give us a little something, Eric. grape of Sardinia and Corsica. All stainless steel fermentation. Are you ready to roll? We all have it already poured. So if you take a look at the color, beautiful pale gold on the nose, lemon lime zest, a little thyme, peach. I'm getting licorice, but I'm getting like a black licorice, like that anisette. Yeah. Early on. And then, say again? Early apple. Early apple, yeah, absolutely. And then I'm getting this salinity, this salty salinity, like I feel like I'm at the ocean, and I just took a big whiff of the salt water. You know what I'm talking about? Anyone else get anything else? All that you just said. All that I just said. <laughs> all right, all right. So are we ready to sample our first wine? You got it. Yes. Clean, crisp, precise, nice acidity, but still a juicy palate here. Right now, my mind's racing. There's so many things I'm thinking about pairing it with food wise. Um, obviously, seafood, pasta, cheese, salad, soups. I was in the Hamptons a few weeks ago with my great friend Renee. She made chicken melanese, chicken cutlets. We had that with veggies and a little bruschetta. Amazing. And I don't think I mentioned the uh, price on this. This is $15.99. FYI, Wine Spectator gave this wine 88 points. And I'm bringing this up for a reason. This is the perfect example of how you cannot judge a wine by its rating. 
you have to trust your own health. Because if you go by rating alone, you're going to pass up on little gems like this. I think this wine is amazing. There's so much going on. I personally would give this wine 92 plus points, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Comments about the Vermentino. Craig, what do you think? Come on. I, I love it. I think it's uh, very versatile. I love Vermentino, first of all, so, and why it's from Sardinia. So it has that backbone of the city that pairs with food so well. So yeah, I think it's pasta. You can think of like, you know, figs with mascarpone. Ooh, like that. figs mascarpone, yes, I love that. Awesome, okay, amazing. All right, let's go to wine number two. Hey, how are you? You wanna come in and join in? You wanna come in and join in on the fun? We're doing a little sampling here. Okay, wine number two. 2010 Estefania Telenus Roble. So this wine is, you know what, Gia, you want to come back here and pour everyone? Yeah. That'd be great, just so everyone has a little bit. So this wine is uh, price point 10.98. Wine Advocate gave this wine 92 points. Okay, so now we're in Bierzo, Spain. We're in the northwest corner of Spain. Uh, region that we refer to as Green Spain because it rains a lot here, a little cooler in Tem. The wine is 100% Mencia, or as they refer to it, Mencia. Uh, Mencia is the dominant red wine grape of Bierzo, Spain. This wine was in French American oak for 10 months, and a little FYI about the winery, um, Bodega Estefania was uh, named as one of the top 20 best new wineries by Food & Wine Magazine. All right, so are we all poured with wine number two? All right, let's take a look at the color, guys. So we got a deep ruby, a little bit of like a magenta, a little bit of violet uh, tinged rim. On the nose, oh, I love Mencia because on the nose it's so aromatic. Crushed berries, cherry. Little mocha. Say again. Almond. almond, absolutely almond. But then there's this like pungent what stone aroma. What stone, right? And the way I describe it to people, I say like, imagine you go outside to your driveway after a torrential downpour, and you just take a whiff of your driveway. That wet stone. So and you don't then, taste the wet stone? Do we say it again? You don't actually taste the wet stone. No. Well, you know, you can't. Uh, well, Gary listen. would say lick the wet stone. Uh, you know, like, that's the it. Just go in and lick the stone. Come on, Liz and Jean. Come on, Liz and Come on. Okay, so, and then what I also get in this wine, a sweet, salty, savory, spicy element. So the way I'm going to describe it, because I'm Italian, black figs wrapped in prosciutto with some cracked pepper on top. Oh, we're getting yeah. crazy now. All right, are we ready to go for it? Yeah. Okay. What's surprising about this wine for me is that the palate is lighter than the appearance. So the appearance is kind of deep and dark, you think the wine's going to be heavy. It's got like a nice little tang to it, a zippy acidity, and my assessment is it's got the acidity of a Pinot Noir, a kind of animalistic gamey component like a Syrah, but then the funky vegetal green quality of the Cap Frog. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. Kind of like green moss with a slight sweet on the finish. I love it. Green moss with a slight, slight sweet on the finish from Carol. Carol, I'm loving it. Anyone else? I'm tasting the rock. You're tasting the rock? I really am. Just uh, maybe from the nose on down, but it's there. All right. Joe, what do you think, Joe? Come on, this is a good one. Kick it back with your friends. Softening a little bit in the glass. Yep. I get the rock. Uh, and that is because the aroma is so That's right. So, and you know what the coolest part about this wine is? It's only $10.98. I mean, really? It's crazy, crazy, crazy price. All right, so we're loving wine number two. It's time for wine number... Wait, you know what? It's time for... Pretzels. Pretzel break. So I think we need a little music for the pretzel break. Oh my god. 
on the estate, and of course the wine is made by rock star winemaker Christophe Savon. Mm. This wine is a blend of 65%, excuse me, 55% Grenache, 25% Syrah, remaining, remainder a little Carignan saint Vedra, spent one year in oak. Are we all poured up? We're almost there? Yeah. Gee, you're good. <laughs> yes. All right. So deep ruby, deep ruby in color, on the nose. Ripe berry, black fruit, black plum, fig. I get a little gris, a little like provincial herb here. Anyone else want to interject? Tobacco. Tobacco, tobacco absolutely tobacco. Anyone else? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate for sure. All right. Tea. Tea, tea. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, definitely some black tea action. All right, you guys, let's go in. Yeah. 